Hello and welcome to Infinity. Time for a bit of cheer. And uh, so here's a giveaway. It's something I've completely rewritten. I did the shifters a little while ago. Uh, well, not that long ago, but I've completely rewritten them. So there I had the histogram squeeze and shift, the RGB shift and the 3M shift. Same ones, but rewritten with extra features in and the 3M I got different versions of again. So to get it in, follow the link below, then go to the hamburger up here, import macros and double click on the one you get there. And here you've got them here. So you can got, see the histogram. The shifter is now a shifter mixer and I got three different varieties of the 3M one. So I'm going to take some uh, few videos to go through these and show the sort of things that you can do with them. So let's start off with the histogram squeeze and shift. Just one click, it quickly appears up here. It's a single layer. Uh, so you can treat it like that. You can drag it around the place. You can use it as a mask or whatever. So if you double click it, it'll come around here. What I'll typically do with this when there's a lot of controls is drag this up here so you can see all of these. You don't need what's at the top. Uh, and if you want to get a bit more space, you can always pull the top down again or adjust it so that it's using the minimum amount of screen space because this does take up a bit here. So what we've got up here, and this have, you know, if you get the histogram tab up here, you can see it, is the squeeze and stretch is literally, if you move it left, you squeeze it. The histogram will catch up. Sometimes it's a bit slow, but it's got to recalculate and everything. And going the other way, it stretches out. So it's literally fallen off the right hand side there. But there are interesting effects with this. So even when you've got something that looks like this, all is not lost. So, for example, you can turn the opacity down. And as you turn it down, you get just a lightened picture. Or you can go to the blend mode and change that. You can try anything, but a useful one there is soft light. Uh, you could wait for it to catch up sometimes, but there you go. And you, you've got immediately completely different picture. So let's go back to normal with that and just bring this one down. You're darkening the picture now, which means this is now squeezed up all the way down here. And it is very similar to exposure, but you can apply this extra effect of mono protect. So that when I do this, if I bring up that, what it does is it, it effectively brings back some of the, the monochrome or the increasingly mono. Imagine this scale here has been totally monochrome on the left and totally color on the right. And so sliding here brings this up here. And the way this is calculated, there's four different ways you can calculate it down here. So you can change these and you get completely different effects again. So literally the way to do it is experiment. And it's surprising what you will find. And if you get some hard edges that's looking a bit odd, then bring up the feathering or try that anyway and you'll get a softer effect. But you can see here how it is completely different. Um, you could even with this do some, you know, some of this down here and get some, you know, odd effects. Okay, that's enough anyway for that one. Double click these to put them back to where they were before. Don't do a reset because that will wipe everything out and you have to reload it. The shift left and shift right, literally, you sl it slides it. So if I move this to the left here, it's actually going to slide the histogram over. So you've got similar, you've got darkening and lightening, but it's a different way. So you're still going to get a different image. So if I turn this up to here and do a, a bit of mono protect up here and a bit of feathering here and just look at the different feathering effects you can get. See here, it's a bit, you know, a bit washy there. See, you've got the different, the way that it changes it. So you can find one which works best for you. And see the nice pastel shades here? We've got ourselves a pastel picture just with a few slides of the this. And so I could, for example, then go back down the other way, down here, and I got back into dark territory. And you've almost got sort of a night into day. And if you bring the mono down here, you get a greater, more darkening effect because it's bringing more of that, the, the effect that's happening back into the picture. And uh, so what else can you do? The other thing is, of course, to use both of them at once. And the way you can do that is if you start with this picture here and you squeeze it, so squeeze it down left here, so this is going to be squeezed right up, and then shift it back up somewhere to the middle. 
and uh, then this then resets up here and you've got yourself more of a grey picture so you, the more you squeeze it the greyer you get uh, or you can pull it back up and then it gets lighter and you've got yourself a background that you can drop in um, maybe behind or say a PowerPoint display or something like that. And also with that you can of course bring back the mono here and bring yourself a, another feature and change the filtering here. So the filter feature of the feathering calculation you can change the calculation get different effects there and also here if you do the invert see what a completely different picture you get again experiment and see which one works for you anyway that's it i'll cover the other areas on a, another video and thank you very much for watching